junge, hübsche, charmante Dame mit diesem Brunnen befindet sich in einem Vorgarten eines Hauses in Newcastle. Zum Ende unserer Show haben wir uns ins Auto gesetzt und sind zwei Stunden von Sydney weggefahren und zwar zu einem Star. Er ist der erfolgreichste Songschreiber und Sänger der erfolgreichsten australischen Band. Ha? Wer ist es? Natürlich, Silverchair. Und er hat uns tatsächlich zu sich nach Hause eingeladen. Da war ich sehr überrascht. Ich hoffe, er ist da, man weiß ja nie bei den Rockstars, ne? Hi. Hi, there you are. Hi, I'm Hi. Anastasia from Germany. Nice. The German viewers. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so good to be here. Thanks for having us. That's all right. Anytime. Drop okay. in. So this is your house. Okay, great view. Guckt euch das an mit einem Ausblick aufs Meer. Do you surf? No, I did when I was younger, until I was about 15 years old and then I stopped and just started focusing on music and surfing no longer happens. <laughs> That's a shame, but you still can do it. Yeah, I still can do it. Yeah, um, a good question is um, for an Australian artist, why didn't you go away? Because uh, so many artists I know from Australia go to London or the US, you stay here where you're from, why? I just, I just really like it. I find Being up here with the cliff and the water and the moon is always just above the cliff there, so it's really inspiring and makes me want to write music. So until I find somewhere else that's as inspiring or more inspiring, I'll stay here. Okay, so the last album was written here in this house? Yep, it was written, every, every track was written here, either on that piano or on that guitar in the corner. Also eine wichtige Stätte hier. And another question, um, how important is it for you to be home? Because you've been traveling in your life a lot. Do you feel comfortable here? Do you take care of your house? I'll take a little bit of care of it. Yeah, let's take a look. There's uh, many things, a table, um, a bar. I got that for $60 second hand. It's got little broken bits and at night you turn the light on that lights up. Collectors <laughs> things. Is there parties at all? Uh, yeah, yep. This is all those, all that decking out there, so people just sit out there and get drunk and, you know, <laughs> jump in the pool and do silly things. We're gonna talk a little bit more about um, Silverchair, of course, auch über das letzte Album, ganz klar. Wir schauen uns jetzt auch einen Clip daraus an, und zwar The Perfect You. Und wir sind gleich wieder da mit Daniel Jones. Bis gleich. Ja, okay. Let's go back. 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 Da sind wir wieder in Newcastle im Hause von Daniel Jones, der Frontmann von Silverchair. Good to have you back in the show. Um, people not only have missed you a lot, they were also a bit, you know, worried. How are you doing? Um, how are you actually? I'm doing really well now. You look good. Thank you. I'm, um, yeah, a lot healthier than I was for the most part of this year, so, or last year. And, um, yeah, I've been getting treatment for quite a few months in Los Angeles, and it's all going really well, so hopefully I'm going to be 100% soon, and we're going to start touring, and, um, yeah, we just, we're looking forward to playing this album live to whoever wants to hear it. Frustrate you that you can't promote overseas your new album? Yeah, it's frustrating because we um we were all really happy with the album and thought it was a really important album um, for you know for the way we were perceived overseas, especially. So um, 
It was definitely an artistic leap and we wanted to get out and um, expose it to people so they were aware of the growth of the band and um, we didn't get that opportunity so we're going to try and do it now. that you recorded your first album in very few days and um, how long did it take you now and does it make more fun to do it a uh, longer way? This album was really, for me it was more of an artistic endeavour so it was, it was really about creating a studio album and creating something which you know is hard to replicate in a live environment so but I mean it's still, we still recorded it in four weeks which is short compared to most bands so we don't we have very short attention spans and don't like to spend too much time in there but once I'm in there I just work hard and get it done and get out. And you did it very uplifting and now the German people want to know when are you coming to Germany? Hopefully we're coming to Germany this year. We really want to um, do some touring and play to the people that want to see us play. We're really looking forward to it. Na, das hat euch doch jetzt glücklich gewandert. Thanks for having us in your home. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you soon in Germany. Das war's für Travel Trend in dieser Sendung. Wir sehen uns bald wieder. Bis dann. Tschüss und bye bye.